You can get the cards you need for today's Budget Magic deck and support the show from this episode's sponsor, Card Kingdom. Just follow the link in the description box down below. Hello, everyone. It's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another edition of Budget Magic. So this week, we are finally heading into War of the Spark Standard, but this week, we also have a bit of a twist. So this Budget Magic was recorded during the War of the Park preview stream thing, which Wizards, cool enough to invite me to, give me a full account for a day, so that means we're playing best of one standard this week, but recording during the preview event was the only way to really get this episode up uh, and have a War of the Spark deck for this week, and I really wanted to play War of the Spark rather than waiting another week, so thanks again to Wizards for inviting me to the super cool event, the stream events are just so fun. Uh, as you can see, this week we are playing Is It Sahili in War of the Spark standard, and this is a deck I'm really excited for for a few reasons. So first off, uh, I think this deck's actually pretty good. It shows off some cool new cards from War of the Spark, secondly. And thirdly, uh, the deck is really cheap. You can see, cheap in paper, cheap on Magic Online. On Magic Arena, the deck in the main deck it has two Mythics and four Rares, which are rare lands that you hopefully already have in your collection. So it is dirt cheap to build on Magic Arena. So all around, I'm excited to play this deck, show it off, start exploring War of the Spark stand. Standard. So, a quick reminder before we break down, is it Sahili for War of the Spark Standard? If you enjoy this deck and you enjoy Budget Magic in general, it would be amazing of you if you could take a second, click that subscribe button down at the bottom of your screen. It's a great way to support the channel and the site for free. So, is it Sahili is basically an is it spell slinger style deck where we're trying to get down a couple of key payoffs and then just cast a ton of spells for value. So, payoff number one. One. And the namesake card of this deck is Sahili Sublime Artificer, which basically a three mana young pyromancer. We play it every time we cast a non creature spell, we get a servo token. So, what we want to do is play Sahili, cast a whole bunch of spells, make a whole bunch of tokens. The other nice thing about Sahili is it kind of protects itself. If we cast it with like four mana, we can cast a one mana spell, make a servo to jump block, keep Sahili alive. We can do some tricks with the negative two as well. So, Sahili is payoff number one. Payoff number two is Murmuring Mystic, which is like expensive but makes flying tokens version of Sahili. Uh, you've probably seen this one before. It's been in the format for a while. Just a 4-mana 1-5 that makes a 1-1 one, one flying bird illusion. Whenever we cast an instant or sorcery, pretty much all of our non-creature spells, uh, except for Sahili itself, are instants or sorceries. So if we can get down a Sahili and we can get down a Murmuring Mystic, every time we cast a spell, we are going to get two tokens, one of them with flying, which is a lot of free value. Step three for the deck, and payoff number three, is invade the city, and this one's a little bit different. Sahili and Murmuring Mystic are all about going wide as we cast spells, while invade the city gives us the ability to go big. When we cast it, we amass X, where X is the number of instants and sorceries in our graveyard, plus it's also a spell, so it's triggering Sahili, it's triggering Murmuring Mystic, and often in the early game, invade the city is like a 3-3 three, three or a 4-4 four, four for three, which isn't all that exciting. However, as the game goes along and we get to the late game, Invade the City ends up being like a 15-15 or a 20-20 for three mana, which is just absurdly huge for its cost. So that's our main payoffs. We also have two copies of Crackling Drake. So Crackling Drake uh, is a card that you probably know. It's seen play in Standard before. It's basically a backup payoff that gives us another high toughness creature. One of the risks with going wide with our tokens is something like God Goblin Chain Whirler or Fiery Cannonade can blow us out. Crackling Drake joins Invade the City as our go big payoffs. The other reason that Crackling Drake is in the deck is it's one of our best creatures to use with Sahili Sublime Artificer. So while the main reason we're playing Sahili is to use it like a young Pyromancer and cast spells, make tokens, once we get a servo on the battlefield, we can negative two Sahili to turn that servo into something like Crackling Drake, which gives us two Crackling Drakes and potentially just lets us one shot our opponent in the air with two massive crackling drakes. So these are our payoffs. Then we have our spells that enable this deck. So mostly we got a million cantrips, 16 cantrips, op, Radical Idea, just cards that draw us a card. Radical Idea, nice in this deck because we can jumpstart it, so it's technically two spells to trigger Sahili and Murmuring Mystic in one card. Chart of Course and Tormenting Voice just churn through our deck, drawing us two at the cost of often discarding one. But what we really want to do is like play Sahili on three, play Murmuring 
Shimmering Mystic on turn four, untap on turn five, and just cast like three or four spells and make a huge board full of tokens to block, defend our life total, and eventually attack and kill our opponent. We also have some cheap removal. Shock, just early game removal. Lava Coil, can't go to the face, but gets rid of bigger creatures and exiles. A couple of lightning strikes, and all these cards can also trigger our Sahili, trigger our Murmuring Mystic, grow our Crackling Drakes, and, and our Invade the City. And then we have one of the sweetest cards in this deck, Finale of Promise, another new War of the Spark edition, and this card is absurd. It is one of our best payoffs. So, two red and X. You get to exile up to one target instant and sorcery from your graveyard, convert a mana cost X or less, cast them for free. We're never going to cast it for 10 or more in this deck. It's very unlikely, although it would be sweet if we did cast it for 10 or more. However, in this deck, we're mostly using it for two mana or maybe one mana even to get something like opt and shock. Or at two mana, we can get something like opt or shock or lightning strike along with a chart of course or a tormenting voice. So getting back those spells from our graveyard and the main thing here is not only does this give us value from our graveyard it is insane with Sahili and Murmuring Mystic because Finale of Promise if we can cast those two things from our graveyard it essentially triple triggers our Sahili Sublime Artificer and Murmuring Mystic and another trick with Sahili is we can use it to copy a Murmuring Mystic turning a servo into a Murmuring Mystic so just picture this which is a very common line for this deck we get down Sahili we get down Murmuring Mystic we got a servo from casting a random spell we we Sahili to copy the Murmuring Mystic, turning our Servo into a Murmuring Mystic. So we essentially have two Murmuring Mystics in a Sahili. Then we cast Finale of Promise, and we get back, let's just say, Opt in Shock. So that's three spells. Each of those three spells is going to trigger our Sahili and our doubling Murmuring Mystic. So for three mana with Finale of Promise, we end up with nine tokens. Nine tokens in that scenario. Plus, it just lets us use our removal, reuse our card draw spells, whatever we need in a situation it is really really absurd and arguable that maybe we even want more of them i have been incredibly impressed with how good finale of promise is and like i said we're not going crazy we're not trying to go to 12 mana and double copy stuff which is a fun idea we're just playing it really simple really straightforward getting back cheap spells and it is insane with how much it triggers our sahili and murmuring mystic and that's basically the deck play sahili play murmuring mystic we have our backup go tall payoffs if we need them cast a ton of spells make a ton of tokens kill our opponent with the value mana base wise we have eight dual lands no steam vents here too expensive for the budget so four sulfur falls for is it guildgate a bunch of basics is it guildgate it is annoying but it's not as annoying as you think because chart of course and tormenting voice allow us to discard it to find untap lands we can play it as a tap land if we need to but we do have ways where we can discard it so our lands don't come into play tap that often even with four is it guildgates then we have the side board and before we get to it i should say as i mentioned in the intro we're playing best of one standard it was the only option we'll be back to normal best of two next week we're not switching to best of one but it was the only option to get a war video up this week so sideboard though if I was playing best of three, this is a sideboard I'd be using. Shiv and Fire for aggro creatures. Fiery Cannonade as a sweeper. Beacon Bolt to deal with Lyras and Aurelias and bigger creatures that get around our Lava Coils and main deck removal. And then for control, we have Disdainful Stroke Negate. Good counter spells. Niv Mizzet, another way to kind of go tall. Bane Fire for an uncounterable Wrath. And then two more Crackling Drakes, which is mostly to counter like Goblin Chain Whirler and that type of sweeper uh, that really wrecks our token plan. But Crackling Crackling Drake survives, huge fast clock in the air, so we could just go for Invade the City, Crackling Drake, beat down that way. And that is, is it Sahili for War of the Spark Standard? And that's our budget magic deck for this week. So let's jump into it, start playing some War of the Spark, casting some spells, making some tokens, doing some cool things. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoy it, and I will talk to you soon. All right, budget magic time. We are playing some Is It Sahili, and we're playing this week during a special preview event on Magic Arena where Wizards gave everyone full accounts. Uh, it does mean we can only play best of one standard, but it was either it was either play during the preview event, or we would have to wait and not start doing War Spark till next week because the set doesn't come out till Friday or Thursday and then there's a pro tour and a bunch of other stuff going on. So it seemed like playing playing best one uh, for this week's episode 
seemed worth it compared to waiting a whole week to play War of the Spark for Budget Magic. So, uh, all right, opponent on a Watery Grave. Some sort of control deck. Could be like a spicy mess deck, maybe. Eh, it could just be Esper Control. Well, play Sulfur Falls. Pass the turn. Planes. And, ooh, all right, something spicy. Eh, let's Radical Idea. And, yeah, let's also opt. We would like to find a Sahili. Well, we'll keep Finale. Finale's pretty good here. Can get back Op Chart, of course, at some point. Uh, we're gonna wait till next turn, though. Let's just Murmuring Mystic. Hope that it lives. If it doesn't live, then that's kind of a bummer, but... Oh, boy. Inner Planner Beacon. Well, I expect that many Planeswalkers will be coming. It is War of the Spark standard, after all. Opponents thinking over their options. Ooh, Sahili. Okay. The old Sahili mirror. What an interesting creature. And what Grateful Apparition. All right, trying to proliferate on the Sahili. That's fine. Well, we don't have a way to kill the Sahili, but we can make a lot of birds. Shard, of course. All right, so go to combat. Attack Sahili. Opponent takes it. You will not dissuade me from Chart, of course. Draw a couple cards. Um, play an island. Chart, of course. Draw a couple cards. And pass the turn. We can opt to instant speed to make another bird. Still haven't found a Sahili. Our invade the city is growing. Gonna be up to seven by next turn at least. <sighs> All right, a Johnny gains a life. Makes a servo. Well, if they don't have removal, I think we can beat these planeswalkers. We can just. Teach you humility, if I must. <laughs> yes, yes, a Johnny. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> teach us humility. I get it. <laughs> Servo copies Chromatic Lantern. And another Grateful Apparition. And then tick down. All right, so let's opt. Mountain, definitely bottom. We don't need more lands. Ugh, another Invade the City. Okay. Opponent passes. Servo returns. I'll start with opt. Land to the bottom. One, two, three, four. All right, let's... Let's finale X2. Get Opt and Lava Coil. Lava Coil, Great Flapparition. Opt, draw a card. Make some more birds. Uh, we'll keep Tormenting Voice for next turn. Go to combat, everything at a Johnny, I think. Yeah, opponent eats a bird. A familiar taste, but uh, I'll play an island, pass the turn. Uh, if only we had a Sahili to go with this. So far, we've only found one Murmuring Mystic as a payoff. I mean, we're doing fine, but we would be doing much finer if we could eventually draw into one of our Sahilis. They're just all at the bottom of our deck, apparently. Thankfully, we have found a finisher, and even just one Murmuring Mystic, we can make so many tokens in this deck. And a million evasive creatures, pretty decent way to get through... Ooh, Oath of Gaia, all right. Pretty decent way to get through Planeswalkers. Oh, they actually have a way to kill our Mystic? Well, now we're going to have to find another finisher at some point. I guess we can make big Invade the City tokens. Is this... Double Othakaya. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there goes Murmuring Mystic for now. We are going to get to kill the Sahili. Opponent passes. All right, so step one, Tormenting Voice. Discard the Guild Gate. Hmm. Play a Mountain. Yeah, let's just Crackling Drake. Attack Sahili, attack Sahili. Yes, we get drained to 18. We lose a bird, but we kill Sahili. Opponent's up to 30, which is not super ideal, but 
We're gonna start making some really big creatures. Opponent's gonna need a wrath at some point. Attacks, attacks, attacks. Well, block, block. Our tokens are pretty replaceable in this deck. So we don't really mind trading down birds for servos here. I mean, we have four Sahilis, three more Murmuring Mystics out of 33 cards. So odds of us finding one at some point are pretty high. Worst case, we can just like start invading the city. I think we're getting close to out of lands. One, another lantern. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And so we've gone through like half of our lands ish. There's a Sahili. All right. So play Sahili. Tormenting voice, discard a mountain, make a token. Shock, grateful apparition, make a token. Play Sulfur Falls. Go to combat. Hit our opponent for a bunch. And pass the turn. All right. Finish your back, and our deck is doing what it wants to do. If our opponent doesn't draw a sweeper soon, we're very close to just, like, closing out this game in two turns. Maybe even one turn with this Crackling Drake. We actually have Lethal next turn. Teferi Time Rappler gains a life. Opponent's probably... Uh, okay, so we have to Radical Idea now, because we won't be able to once Teferi comes down. I'm assuming they have to just bounce Crackling Drake. If they don't, they're probably dead. Unless they also have a removal spell. Need to okay. Elder spell grows to fairy. I'll protect you. Bounces crackling great draws a card. When it passes. Well, go to combat. Uh, yeah, let's send for it to fairy, one at our opponent. Only time will tell. Let's opt. Keep chart of course. Chart of course. Sahili. Play a mountain. Invade the city. It's a 13 13 for three. That comes along with a 1 1. And uh, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead, opponent. <laughs> What do you think about this board? <laughs> this deck goes from nothing to something so quickly, and our opponent scoops it up, and not bad. Not bad for budget Sahili in standard. Mm, all right. We'll take it. This deck is sweet, and I'm glad we're playing it, because for uh, being so budget-friendly, the deck is the deck is pretty powerful. It's even very budget-friendly on Arena, I believe. Arena, paper, everywhere. Just budget, budget, budget. Island go. Bone it. Island. Guild globe. Ooh, I like that little sound effect. Uh, I'll play a land, and let's just chart a course. Discard. Eh, I guess one Sahili. We are going to want another land at some point. Island for our opponent. Sigh. And Mox Amber. Well, opponent's on the token plan, too. Hmm. Play a mountain. Place a Healy. Pass the turn. Island. So you can sacrifice this to draw a card. Make two mana of different colors. There's another one. And another Thopter. Draws a card. And another Mox Amber. Yup. Uh, well, we are severely being out-tokened here. Ugh. Oh, dear. And a, and a Karn. This is not looking good. Well, the only good news is we do get to start making blockers, which is something, but opponent gets in. <sighs> well, let's opt. Make a token. Keep Lightning Strike. Play, is it Guildgate? Pa Lightning Strike Karn. Not can end in 
And, yeah, past the turn. This does mean we're going to lose our Sahili, which isn't great. We can't stop the Flyers, but we can't let the Karn just keep making 8-8s or 10-10s or whatever they end up being. Opponent got Sahili, Sahili, Sahili. And face, and face. Um, yeah, let's block the 7-7. Seven, seven. Sahili down, unfortunately. Mana Geode. Eh, just a Mana Rock that scries one. Also grows this ridiculously big construct. Opponent passes. Um. Oh, Crackling Drake. Draw a card. Is it Guildgate? That's the dirt. Uh, yeah, no attacks. Well, we'll see what our opponent has. They have lots of mana. They have many tokens with Psy. I guess they can start sacking stuff to Psy to draw cards. Now look, that might be what they're doing here. Sack like the the geodes. Yeah. Alright, sacks, draws, untaps. Ground catacombs. Opponent goes attacking. Well, block and block. Down to 60. And what's the follow-up? That's the biggest question. Ooh, Tezzerat, what do they revive six, seven? Okay, drains us down to 10, passes. You have already lost. And this goes up to seven? Ugh. If we don't kill Tezzerat, we're gonna die. So I guess we Tormenting Voice, discard Crackling Drake? Oh, we're gonna die anyway, aren't we? We are. Hmm. Yeah, we're just dead here. Land, land, discard. Six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that does it. Well, that was some big planeswalkers coming down pretty quickly. Ugh. Got off on the back foot there. Our opponent had a pretty fast draw. Which, eh, I mean, that does happen with, uh, with our deck. On to the next one. Keep it going. Since our only best of one matches, we'll probably get in more than uh, normal in an absolute sense. All right, this hand's pretty good. Only two lands, but Charter Course can find us more lands, and we have two payoffs and some spells. So this is this is pretty much where we want to be with Sahili Island for our opponent. Well, solve for falls, go. Oh boy. All right, is it Guildgate? Go. Huh. That is persistent petitioners. That's scary. Land. It's a petitioner. Opponent. Passing. Well, land Sahili. <laughs> Mills us. Yeah, that is fair. Hopefully they don't have two more petition. If they go land petitioner petitioner, that's actually kind of bad for us. Land petitioner. All right, that is that is what the petitioner deck wants. Opponent passes finale. Well, let's opt. Make a token. Crackling Drake to the bottom. We would like a land here. Opt. Opt. Yeah, we really need a land here. All right, there's a mountain. Grab a mountain. Play the mountain. Pass the turn. We might just be losing to the most insane of petitioner draws. Well, kill a petitioner, make a token, but we get milled for 12. That is a big chunk of milling. Uh-huh. Down to 34 cards. Do they have another petitioner? We have to hope the answer is no to petitioner number five. All right, Tamio. So that'll find petitioners, but it doesn't find petitioners until next turn. It may find several petitioners, which is bad. Ticks up. Names petitioner, draws two petitioners. Yup. We draw a Murmuring Mystic, which is great, but I don't think it's great enough. Huh. Well, this is not great. Everything at Tamiyo. Opponent blocks. And blocks. 
Blocks, blocks, blocks. Well, we will finale of promise. X1. Get an... Uh, actually... Hmm. What do we do about this? Anything? Is there anything? Well, let's chart a course. Draw some cards, make a token. Shock a petitioner. Make a token. Play a mountain past the turn. But now they just get to play two more petitioners, and they still have cameo. So yeah, I think that I think that kills us. Yep. Seek and find. Well, our deck was not built with the forty petitioner deck in mind. That's for sure. Uh, so I think they got us. Just out janked to the max. Pwn it. Passing. Well, little we'll radical idea. But we're dead and just... We're dead. From two activations, and we can't kill quick enough. Opponent passes. Yeah. All right. Well, that was rough. All right. Budget magic time. We are playing some Is It Sahili in War of the Spark standard. And, uh... Yeah. Okay. Persistent petitioner. Well, land opt. Lava coil, bottom. We need lands. All right, there's a land. Pass the turn. Land for our opponent. Persistent petitioner. Well, land Sahili. This is actually looking pretty bad. Our deck does not have a ton of removal to deal with a deck that's just going to play Persistent Petitioner every turn. So, I'm guessing this probably just beats us. Yeah, opponent mills for one. I guess we're mostly ha hoping they just don't have... Well, of course they do. Petitioner. Alright, so opponent's just full-on Petitioner memes. Alright, well, I guess the good news is... Milling us does grow our Crackling Drake, which is something. So draw a card. I guess that's our best bet for victory, is, is to hope that we can basically jank our opponent out with Crackling Drakes through the Petitioner me, uh, Mills. Opponent takes up. That might be our counter. Opponent gets three more Petitioners, okay. Sure passes well we will play an island invade the city make an 8-8 eight eight, make a token radical idea discard is it guild gate make a token go to combat tag our opponent down to 11 all right. Uh, yeah, pass the turn. We might have found the fatal flaw in the persistent petitioner's plan, which is it's oh, opponent is not going to. Okay. Well, I'm assuming if you're the persistent petitioner's deck and you're not going to activate, that's probably less than ideal. Petitioner. Petitioner. All right. So I believe we have this now, thanks to Sahili. We should be good. Opponent passes. Tormenting voice. Discard finale of promise. Sahili. Turn a servo into a crackling rake. Go to combat. We could keep casting stuff, but I think this is enough. Huh! Wow. All right. Well, we found the way to beat the beam. <laughs> Thankfully, we have two, two crackling drinks, which are kind of a counter to persistent petitioners. Who would have guessed? <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, sweet. Sweet, sweet. All right. Budget magic time. We are 
Uh, okay, we'll keep this. We got Tormenting Voice to find uh, blue mana. We are Saheliing in War of the Spark Standard. Well, best of one War of the Spark Standard, because as you can see, VIP, we're playing during the super sweet uh, streamer preview event that Wizards gave us a full account for, so... So, best of one's the only option this week, but we'll be back to normal next week. Mountain, go. Opponent, mountain, and passes. Well, play a mountain, tormenting voice. Uh, let's discard Lava Coil. Well, we found blue mana. It's a little tapid, but, but it is blue mana. I guess that's fine. Mountain for our opponent, and Dreadhorn, oh boy, Arcanist. Well, I don't like this, but shock, also shock, is it Guildgate? Dreadhorn Arcadis is a card that has been very scary across the battlefield. Oh, is this a feather deck? Dauntless Bodyguard, sure. So I'm assuming this is like a pump, a pump spell boggles -y type deck. Well, that's Murmuring Mystic. Make some blockerinos. We would feel better if Murmuring Mystic lived. Mountain. If Mystic dies, okay, Aurelia. That's actually sort of okay. Well, let's opt. Looking mostly for more blue mana. Opt to the bottom. That's not blue mana. Crackling Drake. Ugh. All right, no attacks. Well, that was, that wasn't ideal. Not an ideal turn of events. We're having a really hard time finding this blue mana. And this Aurelia can trample. So we really need to make enough tokens to kill this at some point. Opponent. Aurelia. Yup. Makes it a 4-5. Attacks. Mentors. Well. Actually, let's just chump. Seems safest. Ugh, we might be in trouble. Missing this blue mana. Down to 16. Opponent passes. Yeah, let's radical idea. Make a dork. Tormenting voice. Discard radical idea. Make a dork. Okay, is it Gilgate? Not making it look easy, but we are technically getting there. No attacks. We can chump the non trampoly stuff, but Aurelia is not very chumpable. Another Arcanist gives Arcanist haste. Okay. And they get to flash this back. Yeah, this is not good. To the bottom. Opponent. Pumps Aurelia. Why does this have trample? This shouldn't have trample, right? I am confused by this turn of events. Oh, does it just always have trample? Oh. Oh, we're we're done for. All right. Yeah. Well, that's not good. I think they just killed us. Well, we got boggled. So play a mountain, play Sahili. Sahili. Uh, all right, invade the city, make a servo, make an 8-8. The problem is this Aurelia though. Yeah, pass the turn. It's just a little too late that we got going. And this Aurelia giving everything trample is is a big issue. That's a card that is going to kill us here if our opponent has pump spells. We have an 8-8 to stop the Arcanist now, but Aurelia pump spells give itself trample is pretty close to our life total here. All right, Reckless Rage hits our zombie. Combat. Uh, yeah. Attacks. I mean, I presume we're dead, but we're going to try not to be. Gets to flashback Reckless Rage. Okay. 
Well, I mean, this is all we can do. I expect there's a trick that's going to ruin this, but... Do a bunch of blocking. See what happens. That is a trick. Opponent's thinking. Alright, there is another trick. So, yeah, this means nothing dies. And we lose our board. And... I don't think there's a way to come back. Opponent just had all the right pump spells in their deck. I mean, so we get to Crackling Drake, draw a card. Sulfur Falls, invade the city. And pass the turn. I mean, I guess we're sort of alive, but our opponent gets to keep flashing things back with his Dreadhorde Arcadist. Which I think means we can't win. We block here. Like, yeah, I don't think this does it. Boy, we we're actually close. For missing on blue mana for a bunch of turns and our opponent having a pretty aggressive start, we were close. But it looks like it's going to go for naught. Opponent just had the Dread Order Canis, I gotta say, has proven itself to be uh, in multiple decks that I've seen people play it in. It is very good. Uh, this is a card that is probably super underrated right now. And I think people think that it's good, but I think it's even better than people think it is. I think this card is just really, really good. Like one of the better cards from More of the Spark. So don't sleep on Dreadhorde Arcadist. It is more or less just beating us by itself here. I mean, Aurelia's Trample has been key, but this thing is just ridiculous. 10th District Legion. Okay. Attacks, attacks, attacks. Gets to flash something back. It is a pump spell. What is a target? Yeah, mentors. Pumps, pumps. Interesting. To the bottom. Well, we block... We block, we block, we block. And hope our opponent does not have yet another trick. All right, we're technically alive still. We're not dead yet. That's another invade the city. Well, I mean, invade the city. Make a 9-9. Nine nine. Or actually even bigger, a 10-10. Ten ten. Go to combat. Oh, man, we're one short. It doesn't make a 10-10. It makes a 19-19. Uh, one spell short. Well, yeah. Hey, you know, one. Wow, we almost amassed them. If we had one more spell, pass the turn. Oh, God. We were so close. What a game. Found it. What do they have? Aurelia kills us, for sure. We get to make two more tokens with Zahili for blockers. So we're not dead on board. We're dead to something that gives trample, essentially. Are we going to win this game? Is our hope? Opponent. Attacks. Well, I mean, radical idea. Discard a land. Make a servo. Reckless Rage. Oh, man. Kills a servo. Technically, we still have two blockers. Oh, this is ridiculous. We draw. Crackly Drake. Radical Idea. Discard Crackling Drake. Make a servo. Do they have double removal in hand? Opponent says good game. We block. We block. Does this mean we're winning? We stay at one. We got a 1919. Oh my god almighty. Whoa. Whoa. The zombie. The amass. It came through. Oh. Whoa. What a game. Oh, I thought we were dead for so long. I cannot. That was. 
That was one of the most impressive games I've played with Izzet Sahili. Good God, was that impressive. Whoo! Wow! Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Sweet. Sweet, sweet. Sweet, 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 sweet. That was super impressive. All right. All right. Budget magic time. We are playing some Is It Sahili in uh, Best of One Standard this week. And this hand's fine. We're missing payoffs, but we got lots of card draw, which is good. Opponent looks like they're abzanning. Tithe taker. Um, I'll play a mountain. Tormenting voice. Discard. Is it guild gate? Well, we got some removal. Still no threats. Tap land. Opponent gets it. Hits us. 18. Now well, let's opt. We're mostly looking for payoffs. Sahili's murmuring mystics. Um, play all for falls. Opt. All right, there's a murmuring mystic. And yeah, let's shock Tide Taker. So we found payoff number one. If it lives, bone it. Gets it, hits us. Down to 17. And there's a Vraska. Thankfully, Murmuring Mystic is big enough that it does not die to Vraska. Wow, sacks the token, draws a card, sure. Well, play a land, Murmuring Mystic. If we untap with Murmuring Mystic, this turn will be sweet. If they kill it, it becomes less sweet. And this looks like a removal-y deck. Tithe Taker. Okay. Sax Tithe Taker. Sure. Gets a 1-1. One, one. Ooh, and a Sahili. Hmm, interesting. Let's start with Tormenting Voice. Discard Lightning Strike. Make a bird. Play a mountain. Finale of promise. Actually, no. Let's just invade the city. Make a bird. Attack for Asuka. Down to seven. Yeah, opponent blows up our token. That was expected. Mortifies Murmuring Mystic. Okay. Opponent passes. Well, play Sulfur Falls. Let's play Sahili. Lava Coil the token. Make a token. Everything at Veraska. Get it low enough that it can't kill Sahili. Pass the turn. <sighs> okay. We're really leaning on this finale, I promise. Ponet, are they sacking a land to draw a card? No. Okay. Trostani. All right. Well, this is going to be a wild game. Well, let's opt. Shock. Yeah, we'll keep shock. That lets us get rid of this for Asuka. We draw an island. So go to combat. Attack for Asuka. Attack for Asuka. Shock for Asuka. Uh, Finale of Promise for Opt and Tormenting Voice. Cast it. Cast it. Discard the land. Make some tokens. Uh, yeah, we'll keep Invade the City. And... Uh, yeah, pass the turn. We have a nice horde of 1-1s. One Seraph of the Scales. Okay. Land untapped. Assassin's Trophy or Sahili. Well, we get a land out of our deck, which is fine. Bonet passing. Well, Tormenting Voice. Discard an island. Radical idea. Invade the city. Make an 11, 11. Play the land. No attacks. Well, we'll see. We are staring down a Seraph for the scale. Pony has Midnight Reaper. And kills our 11, 11. 
Opponent attacks, attacks. Well, we are going to kill these tokens if they attack. All right, opponent passes. Well, that's a radical idea. Invade the city. Make it 13-13. No attacks. Pass the turn. These invade the cities have been big. Oh, my goodness. Opponent just has infinite removal for our... Oh, ticking up. Okay. We need a lava coil, I think. We have one in our graveyard, so we can finale it back. Opponent's passing. Well, that's a radical idea. Discard an island. Opt. Uh, we will keep lightning strike, I guess. Untap. One, two, three, one, two. All right, so play Sahili. Finale of Promise. X2. For uh, Lightning Strike, Lava Coil. Opponent kills Sahili with her last card. So we, let's see, Lava Coil, Sarah for the Scales. Lightning Strike, Veraska. And then we Lightning Strike, Veraska. Anyway. Attack, attack, attack. Opponent jumps. Stays at 18. Pass the turn. What do they find? They need something. It's just a land. That is good for us. Potent. Passes. We draw a Sahili. Although it doesn't do much at the moment. Go to combat. Attack, attack, attack. Same attacks. Opponent jumps with Tristani this time. Draws a card. Next turn, we might be able to start going off with the Sahili. Opponent down to 50, pass the turn. All right, draws a removal spell, gets rid of the 13 13. Opponent, what do they find off the top? Nothing yet. Eh, we will take it. Down to 14. Just a land. Opponent passes. Oh, boy. It's so much better if we can wait a turn. Well, let's go to combat. All attack. Opponent blocks. Seven. Eight. Hmm. Uh, all right, we got to go for it. Sahili. Radical idea. Discard tormenting voice. Not ideal, but... Into Murmuring Mystic. All right, that's lethal next turn. Pass the turn. All right, opponent, what do you top deck? Scoops it up. We got there. And that was a good Abzad draw. And Sahili just doesn't care. We fought through a ton of removal. Veraska's wrathing our board. And didn't matter, didn't matter at all to Sahili. Hmm. For the budgetness of this deck, it seems pretty effective. I have to say, I'm pretty happy with how is it Sahili is on a budget. Sweet, sweet, sweet. All right, budget magic time. We are playing Is It Sahili in War of the Spark standard, and that's yeah, fine. We don't have a Sahili, but we do have a Drake, and we have a bunch of card draw to find Sahili, so we'll keep it. Island Goo. Mountain for our opponent. Well, Mountain, let's just Tormenting Voice, discard Radical Idea. Eh, all right. Still no Sahili, but more card draw. Planes. 10th District Legion. Yeah. Well, eh, let's kill that while our opponent's tapped out. This is a new, like, Infecti style deck. In fact, Heroic, whatever. Opponent. Planes. Toshik. Oh, maybe it's not. Maybe this is just Boros. Well, play a land. Play Crackles. 
draw a mountain. We're going to need to start finding a way to make tokens, though. That's what we need most here. Is some sort of... Oh, feather. All right. Well, also a way to kill feather would be nice. There's Sahili. I'll play the mountain. Play Sahili. Shard, of course. Make a token. Discard the island. Pass the turn. Well, let's see how much damage they can do with this feather. Hopefully they don't have reckless rage. That would be the worst. We can't kill the, well, shock. I guess we can kill feather next turn if there's no trickery. With, like, shock into Finalia promise. That's actually, if our board lives, that's a pretty sweet turn. Shock, Finalia promise for lightning strike, charter course. Aurelia. Okay. Pump Stagic. Attacks the Healy. Attacks the Healy. Mentors. Well, we will just kill Tajik. Sahili drops to one. We untap. Yeah, I think we still kill Feather. So sh Shock Feather. Oh no, we lost Sahili. Oh, I'm so bad. Finale of Promise. For Lightning Strike and Charter Course. Lightning Strike Feather. Cast Charter Course. Discard Radical ID. <sighs> no attacks. Yeah, this Aurelia, it's still an issue. Tagali Honor Guard, on the other hand, is not really an issue. Opponent. We need a way to make tokens. Gets it. Hits us. Island. Well, let's opt. Radical idea, I guess, to the bottom. We really need, like, a Murmuring Mystic, a Sahili. Is it Guildgate? Well, Charter Course. Discard, is it Guildgate? Island, invade the city. All right, pass the turn. We're down to 11, though. No attacks. Ooh, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. This is going to be close. Pwnit, untaps. Clifftop retreat, four cards in hand. Aurelia, does Aurelia things. Defiant Strike pumps it, draws. Gets in for five. Yeah, down to six. That is not a high life total. Tajik. Well, play Crackling Drake. Draw a card. Oh, we don't draw a card. Well, we still get a Crackling Drake. Opt. Mountain to the bottom. And play the mountain, pass the turn. Well, it's going to depend on our opponent's hand. If our Crackling Drake can trade with Aurelia, then we're in okay shape. If it can't, then we're going to lose. Aurelia. Pumps Aurelia. Combat. Attacks. Well, let's see what tricks they have. Block with Crackling Drake. Sheltering Light keeps Aurelia alive. Yep, scries to the top, also a bad sign. There goes Crackling Drake. So many tricks. Well, play Murmuring Mystic. Radical idea, discard a land, make a bird. Into Tormenting Voice. I guess we gotta attack. Get in with the zombie. Hit our opponent to 13. Well, we'll see. Pass the turn. I expect we're dead here since they stride to the top. Feather, the Redeemer. Yeah, that's not good. Aurelia. Grows Aurelia. 
Combat. Attacks, attacks, attacks. Well. Mentors. On Tajik. Oh, we're mentors on... Okay, so mentors on everything. Uh, we block... Block, block, I guess. We don't have a choice. Drop to three. Opponent passes. We draw Sahili. Well, Tormenting Voice. Discard Murmuring Mystic. Make a bird. Play Sahili. Lava Coil Tajik. But we're still just dead. Yeah. All right. Yeah, the trample on this Aurelia gets us. That was close. That was close. All right. Budget magic time. We are playing some Is It Sahili in War of the Spark Standard. And, I mean, we got a Sahili. We got a bunch of card draw spells. That's not bad. Solver Falls and go. We're going to wait until after we Sahili to start playing things, I think. Opponent. Eh, Simic something. Cruel Harpooner. Well, uh, let's just kill that so Sahili comes down on an empty board. Mountain, Sahili. And now we mostly just want blue mana to keep casting our cantrips. Breeding Bull for our opponent. And... Ooh, Kiora. That's eh, gonna draw some cards. But my friend's kind of a Apparently we're on different ends of the scale. Tormenting Voice. Alright, so let's... Let's Tormenting Voice. Discard Sahili. Mega Token. Opt. Still looking for a land, mostly. Alright, Is It Guildgate does work. Is It Guildgate. Play Is It Guildgate. Pass the turn. We're getting pretty well set up for this finale. Opponent can make an extra mana with this cure if they want to. Wow, opponent passes. I'll play a mountain, play Murmuring Mystic. Get in at Kiora. Start getting away this loyalty. And we're in pretty sweet shape. Next turn can be insane. With, well, let's see what our opponent has. Next turn has some insane potential with Sahili turning a Servo into a Murmuring Mystic. And then Finale of Promise to just really go crazy. One, two, three. Like Finale of Promise into Lightning Strike Opt. Or Lightning Strike Tormenting Voice. Or Opt Tormenting Voice. One, two, three, four. All right, Prime Speaker, sure. Well, hopefully, oh, that's kind of a cool combo. But hopefully we can just go wide enough that this doesn't matter. So this can untap Prime Speaker, which is powerful. Let's opt. Make a couple tokens. Uh, I think we actually just keep the island here. A land is fine. Untap. Shard, of course. So Sahili. Turn a servo into a murmuring mystic. Geniuses as genius does. Go to combat. Everything at Kiora. This probably incentivizes our opponent to block. They block. That is what we... Ooh, they don't block. Okay, they block. That's what we wanted, though. Kiora goes to one. Now we get to one, two, three, four. So play an island. Actually, I think we chart a course first. Yeah, let's chart a course. Make an absurd number of tokens. Three tokens, draw two. And then we, oh, I guess this just works. Lava Coil Prime Speaker. 
three tokens. We can save Fidelity for next turn and just do this, do this, chart a course again. And pass the turn, and that's what this deck can do once it gets going. That is, what, 10 tokens already? Our opponent's got a cure on one, but that doesn't even do that much. And that's just a great performance for our deck. So good. Especially for a budget, it's just so, so powerful. Bout it. Thinking it over. Opponent's not just dead, but they're super far behind, and we get to do the same trick next turn. Like, we get to turn a servo into a Murmuring Mystic and just do it all again if our opponent doesn't have removal of some kind. Float some mana. I don't know how our opponent gets out of this, honestly, especially with Finale in hand. Finale is just so many triggers. Oh, okay. Well, Deputy Detention is good. That clears away the birds for the time being. Cash is in Kiora to untap Knight of Autumn. Yup. Eh, that's fine. Opponent passes. So, Sahili. We're just gonna refuel our tokens. Turn a servo into a Murmuring Mystic. Some lessons for you all. Start with... Hmm. Uh, let's go to combat. Attack with all of our servos. Opponent blocks, opponent blocks. Yep. That's fine. Chart a course. Draw a couple cards. Make three tokens. Um Do we have an opt? Opt and Alright, so shock Deputy of Detention. Three tokens. Finale of Promise, X1. For Shock. No Sorcery. Six tokens. Kill Knight of Autumn. Is it Guildgate? Pass the turn. Bought it. Okay, what do you do now? Board is clear again. Tokens rebuilt. We went from our opponent wrathing our birds with deputy detention to back up to eight in one turn. And opponent, they're just done? Cannot beat it. And that is the power of Is It Sahili. Whew, that was a good performance. Not bad. Sweet. All right, budget magic time. We are playing some Is It Sahili in standard. And, uh,. Best of one this week because we're in the preview event here on Magic Arena with a full account from Wizards. Thank you, thank you. Uh, is it you'll get go? This hand's fine. We don't have our best payoffs, but Invade the City Crackling Drake is is fine. Godless Shrine. Well, that's just Island Charticors. Discard. Is it Guild Gate? Pass the turn. Invade the city, not exciting yet. Cruel celebrant. Uh, well, that's Island Shardicors. Discard a... Hmm. Hmm. Let's discard Crackling Drake, I guess. And pass the turn. Leave up Shock for Cruel Celebrant. Opponent, combat. You know, all right. Shock, cruel celebrate. Good rain for one. Next turn we could uh, actually we need another red source, don't we? Maybe we should not have discarded that guild gate. Blood crypt, mayhem devil. Ooh. Uh. All right, let's play it safe and just get rid of mayhem devil. Play an island, pass the turn. Well, invade the city's up to 4-4, four, four, which isn't bad. There's a risk if we run out Murmuring Mystic that they can just immediately kill it with... Wow, that's a lot of cruel celebrants. Well, Murmuring Mystic go. 
Still worried about Playcrafter coming down because we can't make a token to protect our Murmuring Mystic, but we don't have many other options here. Mayhem Devil. On the other end, if we get to untap, we get to do some sweet things. Opponent attacks. Uh, we are not going to block here. Lava Coil would be an answer that we don't want to deal with. Huh. Heartfire. Okay. I'm not sure why our opponent... Oh, tricky. All right. That does work. Heartfire does take care of it. Well, all right. Murmuring Mystic 2. Run it back. Please no Heartfires. This is the kind of deck where Heartfire can really shine, I think. Opponent. Flame Blade Artist. Attack. Well, yeah, now we got a block. Down to 11. Please tell me you don't have it. All right, plays a land. Well, let's opt. Step one, looking for red mana mostly. Radical idea. Hmm. Let's go bottom. More blue mana. Well, land invade the city. No attacks. Opponent. Are they sacking? No. We're still in a kind of fragile state. Opponent's thinking about the big attack. Changes their mind. Says good game. Interesting. We're still pinched on mana. Uh, yeah, let's get in with the birds. Hit our opponent. Yeah, the lack of red mana is really bad for us. Flame blade artist. No sack. Land. Opponent. Passing. Well, shock the flame blade artist. Make a bird. Come on, red source. Ah, oh, Sahili. Behold, new wonder. Go to combat. Attack, attack. opponent takes it boy if we had a red source things would go super crazy here but man we should not have discarded that guild gate forever ago if our opponent could draw like a bantu or something we could just get absolutely killed here sax memorial gets back cruel celebrate drains us plays cruel celebrate yeah i am scared Well, attack, attack. We have red mana for next turn. Do we live till next turn? That is the question. Opponent blocks. Double drains us to seven. Untaps. Land. What's the last card? Opponent passes. Okay, that's what we needed. So now we, Hour of Promise x2 for shock and lava coil make some tokens shock cruel celebrate lava coil mayhem devil oh make a bunch of tokens clear the board get drained for one threats dealt with and we got there in time, I think. All attack. Smash our opponent down to five. Pass the turn. And that's when our deck looks insane. Finale of Promise with Murmuring Mystic Sahili is so sweet. Heroic Reinforcement's not bad, but we got blockers. And now we get to... Actually, no, let's just be respectful. Go attacking. We could have made a bunch of tokens but it seems respectful to just attack here good game and sahili doing its thing uh, yeah for being a budget this deck is sweet i really like this deck it's super fun well sweet so what do we learn this week about 
is it Sahili in War of the Spark Standard? And I should say, it's a little weird playing best of one, different than what we normally do. So record-wise, uh, take it with sort of a grain of salt, or take it as a record for best of one. Also, because we were playing during the preview stream, which again, thanks Wizards for the invite, super cool to have the full account to use. Uh, but since we were playing in the preview stream, we got some spicy matchups. Like we played Tamio Petitioners, we played Five Color Super Friends, we played a, a Tezzerator deck, so we played some weird stuff, although we also played some decks that, while War of the Spark influenced, might be real decks in War of the Spark standard. Uh, Vanifar, we played Mardu Aristocrats, Abs in Midrange, Boros Feather is the new hot deck that actually looks pretty good. So, overall, we finished with a record of 6-3 and three in our best of one matchups, which... Ah, uh, I mean, that's not horrible. Six and three is a pretty good record. So the deck was positive overall. But again, asterisk, grain of salt, whatever, because weird matchups, strange brews, etc., etc. But the power of the deck felt really high, especially when you consider the cost. Like, the fact that the deck has literally two mythics and four rares in the main deck, that is about as cheap as a deck can be. Like, it doesn't get much cheaper than that for a deck that is actually at least somewhat competitive. So, Sahili was insane. The tricks with Murmuring Mystic, copying it was insane. I was very impressed by Invade the City. At one point, we had a 1919 zombie token attacking Wittiest Games by surprise. The deck is consistent because we have so much card draw. The removal is pretty good. Some of the awkward parts of the deck can be fixed in sideboarding. Like, yeah, sometimes we struggle with Aurelia or whatever. Maybe we could play a Beacon Bolt in the main deck, but normally in a best of three match, you can just bring in your Beacon Bolts, deal with it in game two, or bring in your Niv Mizzets or whatever to deal with it. So I feel like some of the awkwardness uh, is mostly just because it's a best of one match. The other card I was super impressed with was Finale of Promise. That card is really, really strong. It is way better than I thought it was, and in this deck, it's especially good, because we're triggering all of our payoffs, but even outside of that, getting back two one-mana spells for three mana, or even better, two two-mana spells for four mana, that is a ton of value. So don't sleep on Fidelia Promise. That card is really good, but all in all, I was really impressed with Zahili. It is a young Pyromancer that dodges creature removal. It is hard for a lot of decks to kill. It goes wide really quickly. It does crazy tricks with Burberry Mystic. So Zahili was great. Finale of Promise was great. And overall, the deck felt pretty good. Yes, we lost some matches. We got beat by the Tezzerator deck. We got beat once by Petitioners, uh, of all things, where opponent just Petitioner, 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 Tabio for more Petitioners, and we couldn't stop it. Although we did get our revenge there in a rematch with Crackling Drake. So overall, I was impressed. Uh, and even more impressive, I feel like we did our best against some of the decks most likely to be real in standard. Like, our losses came to a Tesserator deck, which maybe that'll be real, a Petitioner's deck, which, eh, okay, and then a Boros Feather deck, but that was a rematch. In our wins, we beat Petitioner's in the rematch, we beat Feather in the rematch, we beat Vanifar, we beat Mardu Aristocrats, so we beat a lot of the top tier decks. We beat the Five Color Super Friends decks, we beat Abzan Midrange, so the decks that we played where I would be like, okay, I think that might actually be at least a real second tier deck or whatever in standard, our deck was able to compete really well with those decks and beat those decks, while some of our losses came to some of the jankier, more fun matchups, like Tamio Positioners, where we just didn't have the right answer to deal with the Petitioners or whatever. So our deck rose to the occasion when we played the decks that I think are most likely to be real decks in standard. So all in all, I was happy with Izzy Sahili. The deck was fun. It was a super fun streaming preview event. So thanks to Wizards for the invite and the account again. Uh, and if you're looking for something sweet and fun to play, in paper, uh, especially on Magic Arena, because it's just so dang cheap. Two Mythics and four Rares in the main deck is just, that's as budget friendly as it gets. So if you're looking for something new and spicy, you probably got a lot of these random commons and uncommons around. Sahili's an uncommon Planeswalker and the deck felt really good. So if you like Sling and Spells, going wide and going tall, doing crazy things of Finale of Promise, is this a Healy seems like a pretty legit budget option for standard. So anyway, that's all for today. That's been our budget magic for this week. Is it Sahili for 
War of the Spark standard. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.